Japan is home to a variety of cuisines that will blow your mind, with everything from sushi to bento and wagyu. Pretty much all famous eateries are based in this country, but some dishes aren't what they're made out to be. Some food in street markets is more unique than you may be prepared for. These are the most unique Japanese street foods in the world. Number 5. Shirako. This one looked weird, and the reality of what it's made of is even weirder. Shirako is considered something of a delicacy in Japan and is only sold at the highest end of restaurants. If you want to eat it at home, you won't be able to find it at just any old supermarket. You'll have to go to the most expensive supermarkets. Upon first glance, it may appear to be more than just a little odd. It sort of looks like a big pile of albino snakes or like oversized spaghetti. But the reality of what it actually is puts a lot of people off of eating. Only when you discover what it is, will you potentially lose your appetite. Shirako is fish's sperm sac. Yep, again, it's one of those things that may sound disgusting. But hey, maybe a big bag of chips sounds disgusting to people who have never heard of those before. Variety is the spice of life, and on this occasion, that spice is the sperm sac of a fish. The texture is soft and creamy like pudding. And from what we've heard, it doesn't have much of a flavor quite why that makes it a delicacy we don't know. But hey, the world of fine dining eludes me. I'm more of the kind of person to eat 800 grams of gummy sweets in my bed and then cry myself to sleep. From what we have heard, the taste and texture of shirako is perhaps best described as runny cream cheese. The flavor itself is quite mild with a bit of fishy and salty overtones that don't overpower you so much as they remind you that you're eating something that came from the ocean. It's somewhat reminiscent of an oyster. If an oyster was a bit milder and had the consistency of thin pudding. Shirako is often augmented with ponzu sauce and other condiments to help give it the boost it needs to really stand out. Shirako has said to be a very versatile dish and can be served raw, fried, steamed, or as a topping on other dishes. You may be sat there thinking, you could never convince me to eat fish sperm. But think about it for a second. In Western society, we eat roe, that's fish eggs. Is fish sperm really that different? While shirako is a bit more difficult to harvest, it's not really any more disgusting than a number of foods I could name. Number 4. Fasashi. Simply put, this is horse meat. When people say I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse, offer them a nice slice of basashi. Of course, the irony is when people do say they're so hungry, they could eat a horse. What they mean is they are very hungry and they could eat a whole animal. But Japanese basashi is actually incredibly thinly sliced. Basashi is horse meat sliced as delicately and thinly as possible. Served as a form of sashimi, it's a specialty from Kumamoto Prefecture and is available in several restaurants and sushi places all over Japan. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that in many European countries, people see horses as companions and wouldn't even think of eating them. That's the interesting thing about cultural differences. Horse meat sashimi may not seem strange to somebody who is used to it, but to some of us, the thought of eating horse is unspeakable. Black Beauty was such a good boy, you can't make me eat him. I won't do it. The British members of our subscribers may recall the infamous horse meat scandal of 2013. Foods advertised as containing beef were found to contain undeclared or improperly declared horse meat, as much as 100% of the meat content in some cases. A smaller number of products also contained other undeclared meats, such as pork. The issue came to light on January 15, 2013, when it was reported that horse DNA had been discovered in frozen beef burgers sold in several Irish and British supermarkets. As far as some Brits were concerned, this was almost as bad as finding out you had accidentally eaten your own cousin. While the presence of undeclared meat was not a health issue, the scandal revealed a major breakdown in the traceability of the food supply chain and the risk that harmful ingredients could have been included as well. Sports horses, for example, could have entered the food supply chain and with them, the veterinary drug phenylbutazone, which is banned food animals. The scandal has since spread to 13 other European countries and the European authorities have decided to find an EUI solution. So, they initiated meat testing of about 4,000 horse meat samples for the veterinary drug. It was a huge deal. Especially in the UK, people went crazy with anger, 
the news was flooded with Brits hawking out about the mere idea of having horse anywhere near their dinner plates. This, however, is not the case in Japan. Many Japanese people love horse meat, especially together with a nice bit of garlic and a splash of soy sauce. Horse meat even has a playful nickname in Japan, Sakura Niku. This translates loosely as cherry blossom meat and is in reference due to the vibrant color of the meat when it is freshly cut and the time of year when it is in season and tastes best. Another reason for the unique naming comes from the Edo period in Japan, when eating horse meat was not permitted. So, Sakura Niku was used as a secret. Other common ways to consume horse meat in Japan also include Sakura Nabe, horse meat hapa, and even Sakura Nato, horse meat with natto. Number 3. Huge Napoleon Fish Sashimi Take a look at this incredible fish. This dazzlingly blue boy is what's called the Ahumfed Rassi, though it's also been known as the Maori Rast, Napoleon Rass, and Napoleon Fish. Almost all of its names include the word Napoleon in some way, and we can only assume this is intended in jest, because unlike their namesake, these are real big boys. The Napoleon Rass, as one of the world's biggest reef fish, its general expression is glum with a dash of alarm. Fittingly reflecting its endangered status, the Ahumfed Ras can be located within the east coast of Africa and Red Sea's ocean, as well as the Indian Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. Juvenile and adult Ahumfed Ras are found in different ranges. Juveniles are usually found in shallow sandy ranges that are bordering coastal reef waters, while adults are mostly found in offshore and deeper areas off the coastal reefs, typically in outer reef slopes and channels, but can also be found in lagoons. Ahumfid wrasse are found in small groups or larger combinations within their habitat. The Ahumfed wrasse is the largest living member of the family Labradate. Males are typically larger than females and are capable of reaching lengths of up to 2 meters from tip to tail and weighing up to 180 kilograms, but the average length is generally a little less than 1 meter. Females rarely grow larger than 1 meter in length. This species of fish can be easily identified by its large size, thick lips, two black lines behind its eyes in the hump that appears on the forehead of larger adults. The color of the Ahumfed Ras can vary between dull blue-green to more vibrant shades of green and purplish blue. This particular reef fish prefers to live singly, but adults are occasionally observed moving in small groups. In this footage, you can see it being prepared to become dinner for some lucky customer. Somebody is about to tuck into some of the blue sashimi available on the Japanese markets. While none of us here at the finest HQ have been lucky enough to try sashimi made from a Napoleon fish, and especially not one this big, the stories about its taste are legendary. That's why it can cost up to $25,000 on the sushi trade black market, where the animal is eaten while still alive. As far as his survival goes, Napoleon faces a problem. That incredible flavor, the number of them left in the world is dwindling lower and lower every second because people just cannot stop eating them. If you would like to be one of the people to get a taste of the apparently incredible flavor, Japan is the place to go. Now it's time for the rare topic. This footage right here is of the giant hump parrotfish available as sashimi at many of Japan's large fish markets. Its bright blue colors almost make it look like a children's cartoon character. They are also mighty beasts. The largest species of parrotfish weighing up to a colossal 75 kilograms and growing to length as whopping as 1.5 meters. But many people consider eating them controversial. All breeds of parrotfish are vital to the survival of coral as they act as natural cleaners of the parasites that grow on it. But what can you do when it tastes so good? Would you eat this fish or would you rather protect the world's coral reefs? Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and we might pin the best comment in relation to this picture. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 2. Kujira. Simply put, this is whale meat. Whale meat is another Japanese delicacy that is deemed a little controversial by other countries and cultures. Not only is whale meat eaten in Japan, but many people think that eating this food can help fight off signs of dementia. Contrary to many countries where whaling is banned and a controversial topic, Commercial whaling still occurs in Japan and many Japanese people are not as opposed to the consumption of whale meat. While it is no longer a staple of the Japanese diet, it is still available in some restaurants. Apparently, as whales are mammals, the taste of it is more similar to land animals rather than fish. Whale meat, 
broadly speaking may include all cetaceans, whales, dolphins, porpoises, and all parts of the animal muscle, meat, organs, offal, and fat blubber. Like horse meat for some cultures, whale meat is taboo or a food of last resort e.g. in times of war. Whereas in others, it is a delicacy and a culinary centerpiece. Indigenous groups contend that whale meat represents their cultural survival. Its consumption has been denounced by detractors on wildlife conservation, toxicity, and animal rights grounds. Whale meat can be prepared in various ways, including salt curing, which means that consumption is not necessarily restricted to coastal communities. Whales have been hunted for meat in Japan since before 800 AD, after World War II. Due to damage to Japan's infrastructure, whale meat became an important source of proteins. In modern-day Japan, two cuts of whale meat are usually created, the belly meat and the tail meat. In the early 19th century, 70 different cuts were known. People still call the belly and tail cuts by their special whale meat names, and also different parts of the body, such as the tongue, retain their jargon names. The tail meat is not the same as the fluke or tail flipper, and they go by different names. Other Japanese dishes incorporating whale meat include Hari Hari Nabe, a whale hot pot, Yudamono, which is boiled and sliced innards, and even whale bacon. Number 1. Curry Pan Everyone loves curry, right? And you'd have to be mad not to like donuts. So why not combine the two in a delicious artery-clogging tree? That's right. Curry Pan is a donut jam packed with curry, or should that be curry packed, also known as curry bread. This intriguing little dish is hugely popular in Japan. An amount of Japanese curry is wrapped in a piece of dough with the dough coated in breadcrumbs and deep fried. On occasion, it is baked instead of deep fried, but deep frying is the most common method of cooking. Curry bread is usually found in bakeries and convenience stores and street markets. To be honest, this is the only thing on this list. I think I'm personally actually willing to try while it sounds like a heart attack waiting to happen. At least it doesn't have fish sperm in it. Which of these delicacies would you be most interested in trying? And which would you definitely not? Thanks for watching.